I got a new box to show you. Well, it is a new box to my channel, but the Ginger Quilter reached out to me and asked if I would like to take a look at one of her subscription boxes. And I was so excited. And of course I said yes, because of course I would want to show you some more of the subscription box, box options out there. And I've actually been eyeing this one anyway. Can't subscribe to all of them, but it's so fun to at least give them a try to see if it fits you and your personality, the projects you like to do, the fabrics you like to work with a little bit better. And I can tell you from taking a peek at some of the unboxings on her Instagram that I am going to love this one. And I think a lot of you will too, if you have not already seen it. So with all that said, let's jump in and see what is in this July ginger quilter box. I am so excited. All right, so the ginger quilter box, let's see what we have here. All right, so it looks like we have a paper here that's going to tell us everything that's in it. And oh, 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 look at this pattern. Oh my goodness. You know what? If you know me, you know with quilt patterns, I really love straight line quilting. And because this one shows simple straight line quilting, I know I'm going to love the pattern because I know that I'm going to be able to quilt it and get it to look just as beautiful as it looks in this pattern. And then it looks like on the back, we have like a QR code thing to download our pattern and look how pretty this card is. I just love touches like that. So we have a Rosewater Collagen Essence Mask and either I will try this or my daughter will. She does tend to snag stuff like this from me when I get it. Um, she loves everything Rosewater, but maybe I'll get to use it. And if I do, I'll let you know what I think of it. And here is all of our beautiful fabric. Let me see if I can pull it out. Nope, that's not going to work pulling it out that way. Oh, I feel something else in here besides just fabric. Oh my goodness, I know I've said before, but little bees. Oh my goodness. I love bees. My grandfather was a beekeeper, so it always speaks to me. Oh, mints. That's a cute little touch. I've not heard of this. Choward's violet. Ooh, we got little treats in here too. Isn't that fun? Okay. Oh, these fabrics are just, oh, and some universal needles. This is the brand I use. So that is exciting. We're getting all these little extras here and I am loving it, but look how much fabric this is. Okay. So here are our fabrics and I will show them all closer, but this is definitely not a typical quilt box like with um, Fat Quarter Shop. And don't get me wrong, I love Fat Quarter Shop. But when you get Fat Quarter Shop, you know you're going to either get a few Fat Quarters or you're going to get a um, petite jelly roll or you're going to get a petite layer cake, something like that. You're getting different sizes of fabric, definitely curated to work on a project. And I am all about that. I absolutely, absolutely love this and look, that little bee is showing up here. So we're going to look at all of them, but I am going to take a peek at the paper we got so that I can definitely let you know more about all of the items in here. So the chrome sewing needles, needles are one of those things that you take for granted until they break or until you finally replace it and wonder why you didn't do it much sooner. I'm guessing it's time to replace the needles for at least a few of you. This one's on me. And that is so true because I don't replace them as much as I should. When silly things start happening with my stitching, I'm like, let's rethread and let's put a new needle in and everything seems to be happy again. Okay, so the Rosewater Facial Mask, the goal of this box is to get you to spend some time taking care of yourself creatively, but you should take care of yourself physically too. Enjoy the mask and spend a few minutes relaxing. Oh, I love that. I love that she has a reason for why everything is in here. What do you think? I'm thinking that's great. So the Howard Violet Mints. There aren't too many floral flavors of candy, so I was intrigued when I stumbled across these. Almost all the reviews on these mints say they reminded the buyer of their childhood. I'm excited to see what you think of this unique flavor. So I was wondering that. I was wondering if it was violet flavored or if it was just talking about the, the you know, just like the, the packaging. But now I need to try one. 
I mean, it is really good. I don't know how to explain the flavor. I'm not one of those people who's good at that, but I like that. So the Maypole Pattern by Susie Quilt. I haven't sewn very many quilts on the bias, so this was a fun challenge. I got this one put together in two evenings. It's a perfect quick project for a weekend sewing session. Okay, so a little bit of a challenge. I'm up for it. Harmony by Melissa Lee. I'm reminded of late summer evenings when I look at this line of fabric. Sunsets, wildflowers, and honey butter on fresh baked bread. It makes me want to sit in the hammock and hang on to the last months of summer. All right, so let's take a closer look at the fabrics. This color is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm in love with the bees, the shape of them, because I feel like when this is in a quilt, the, the bees aren't so novelty that they're going to be screaming at you. It's one of those things where when you get closer, you'll really notice the shape and what they make. And then the little dots making the swirls going from bee to bee. I love it. And this is gorgeous. I am not the biggest fan of animals and stuff in my prints, but this one is really well done. The colors are gorgeous and I think it goes really well together. And this plum color is gorgeous. This is one that I may need to get more yardage of. I absolutely love this and I love it with the next one especially. I could make a quilt with just these two and be so happy because I love these two prints, the colors. I just, I love these. It's not that I don't like the other two, but these two are fabrics that I would, I would love to make a quilt of just these. Absolutely. And I really could see this as a bag lining and this as the outside of the bag because I I don't know, I love these prints like this. I'm always like, I would love that in a lining when I open up the bag and I'm like, yes, it looks so pretty on the inside just like the outside. <laughs> and then we have, oh, I didn't see that. It has like um, a, what is it called? Like a honeycomb? No, I don't know, but <laughs> there it is wonder because we this one has the same little bee swirls on it you see so they're just brought through the line because then there's the one here this is really really beautiful fabric it has a lot of earth tones in it which i love that in fabric it just that fabric lines with a lot of earth tones really speak to me and i I really love this. I think my favorite is definitely these two, and I couldn't tell you between the two which ones are my favorite. Then this, then this, and then this. And I, I'm curious to see how it would all come together with the pattern. So it's something I'm definitely, definitely would look forward to working through and see how it comes together. Because I think you could probably, it's hard to tell from the photo what the dimensions are of the strips, but you could probably try and fussy cut this to get some of the deer in there and really make that a nice highlight. Um, but without seeing the, the instructions on the pattern, I'm not really sure how, how well that would work with the cutting, but I think it would be fun to try. So as with any of my other unboxings it'll definitely be a project that I get to when I'm not sure because I'm sure I'm like you where I have a ton of projects that I want to get to but when I do I will try to put an update here as well to show you what it looks like but for sure you will be able to see what it looks like on my Facebook channel so if you want to join that there will be a link in the description you can join that if you want to sign up for this box because it is absolutely amazing this is a ton of fabric here in this box and you got these fun little extras i am i'm loving it so i will also put a link in the description so you can go check out this subscription box and subscribe i think you will be ecstatic with it because i am for sure 
ecstatic about this amazing fabric I got and the pattern and all the extra goodies. And I'm going to have to go downstairs from my recording studio and make everyone in my house try one of these because they were delicious. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the description, hear what you thought about it, hear if you've signed up and are ready to get your ginger quilter box next month. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.